So in the next few years, even in the next year, how do you see the retail media space evolving? Are there specific things that you kind of see the retail media landscape looking like? Well, if the history is any indication, I think that we're just going to continue to see more and more retail media platforms launch. Um, so last year we launched you know, Walmart, Instacart, Target, um, eBay, I mean, we've launched lots of retail media platforms. We just, this year, you know, DoorDash has launched. So I think we're going to continue to see more retail media platforms launch. Um, more platforms means more competition. More competition means there's going to be more innovation. So that's good for brands. Um, and I think that we're going to continue to see this like integration of retail sales and operations with media. That's something that we're doing um, as well. And then in the end, that I'll quote, I'll end with a quote that um, Diana Housling, I was in a meeting with her. She's the, the head of commerce for Colgate. I hope she doesn't mind me quoting her, but you know, her advice was you know, don't focus on where the dollars are coming from, whether it's trade or shopper marketing, just focus on building the best possible experience brand to be attracted to. And I think that's really good advice for these retailers as they're continuing to build these um, retail media marketplaces, both the sponsored listings, but also they're creating experiential um, advertising opportunities as well. So make it make it compelling for brands to want to invest. I think that's a super important point that sometimes gets missed in the evolution of new media spaces and new marketing strategies is keeping that customer experience kind of front and center. And retail media is a little bit unique because retailers, to your point, are creating experience for their advertisers as well that makes launching campaigns, getting data easier and simpler, but also making that experience really seamless for the customer.